at secondary school and I have with me my grade 11 learners or pupils who are doing agricultural science at school. So agriculture is not just about theory. So what we do when we teach them in the classroom theory, now they have to come in the garden and demonstrate because agriculture is both theory and practical. So as you can see, we have a lot of things. We have got onion, we have got tomato, we have got eggplants, we have got rape. And we still have got a, a lot of things that we have planted that are on the nursery. And then, since we are here, we are going to demonstrate one thing, which is very, very important, because we have seen we have got rape here. So now we are going to do what we call air aerating. Air aerating is actually us preparing the soil nicely so that water can be able to infiltrate. And then before we can do air aerating, we also what we do what we call weeding because weeding is also very very important in agriculture. So what we do, aerating and weeding they go hand in hand. We have to weed first. Let me show you. Like for example, this is our this is our weeds, and as you can see, weeds these are an, you know, unwanted plants. We planted something and then at some time we find that weeds are also grown in our garden. So what we do. Before we can do air aerating, we have to remove the weeds. My learners, if I may ask you, before we start doing the, the exercise, what is the purpose of us removing the weed? Who can give us an answer? What is the purpose of us removing the weed? Can 